first thing we're going to look at is that there is a new icon for launching MicroStation Connect Edition here at Caltrans. You can see the icon listed here. It appears different than the prior icon, so know the difference. This will launch the new version of MicroStation. I'm going to double click. The first thing you're going to see is the standard Caltrans splash screen for MicroStation. You can see at the top it says CT Connect. It tells me, hello, my name. It's going to tell me the version of MicroStation. You can see it's MicroStation Connect Edition and it's on 10.14.02.01. We have the standard information that was on the prior launch screen in MicroStation and we have the run MicroStation Connect. This is where you're going to see some differences is you're going to see the word Connect displayed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this to launch the program. Now when you launch the program, the first thing you're going to see is what is referred to as the work page. Now in the top left, you're going to see Caltrans. If you don't see that, you'll probably see no workspace. This is the first difference you're going to notice between MicroStation Connect Edition and MicroStation V8i, is that instead of a user and project choice for you, you're going to have workspace and work set. It'll be similar in concept. In this case, I'm going to be choosing Caltrans, and that's the one you should choose. So if it was set to no workspace, you're going to want to change that to Caltrans. And then on the right, our work set options appear. So if I click here, I have three choices. Currently, we have roadway, right away, and guide sign. I'm going to be choosing roadway. Below that, I have a list of recently opened files. In this case, I have one example. And what we see listed here, the name of the file, the path, modified date, and the size of the file. If I right click on the file, I'm going to get a pop-up menu that will give me options. The first option is open. I could have left clicked to open it, or I can open as read only. That's how you would do that. You can pin it to the top of the list. So if this is a frequently open file, you can always keep it at the top instead of it displaying the last file open. You can remove it from the list if you want to. You can also open the folder in Windows Explorer to see where it's at or you can choose preview if you want to get a better look. So I'm going to go ahead and click preview. The preview window opens with the same information. I have the option to zoom in, pan, and fit, and rotate my view. And these controls are right up here. I can zoom in and out by scrolling my wheel. I can also do a fit view up here on the controls. I can do a window area, just like we do in MicroStation, so I can see what I'm looking at here. And I can go over to pan and I can pan around like that. So you can get a better look at your drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now if I want to open the file, all I need to do is left click. Now this will open the file up. What we didn't see when we opened this up was a dialog telling us that there was a mismatch on the workspace work set. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a moment here. But this is the interface which we'll discuss in the next video. So I'm going to do a close and I'm going to open up a different file. So I'm going to go up to the quick access toolbar and there's the red folder, yellow folder icon just like we had before. I'm going to click on that. This takes us back. I'm now going to open up a different file that has not been opened in MicroStation Connect. So I'm going to click Browse. Here's the file. I'm going to select it, click Open. This is the dialog I was talking about. It says No Work Set Alert. It's telling me this file is not part of a work set, so it's never been opened up in MicroStation Connect. And it wants to know what I want to do. So I have an option to use the active workspace and work set, which is Caltrans and Roadway, or I can open it with no work set. And that's not generally what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to brand the file or open it up using your active workspace work set. So I'm going to click open. Now what has happened is that file was branded. So the next time I go to open that file up, I will not receive that warning. So that will go ahead and wrap up this short video on launching MicroStation Connect here at Caltrans.